Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to an introductory tutorial on basic harmony and chords for the clarinet. This is an interactive session so if you are a clarinet player please set your clarinet up, stop the video, get it prepared and be ready to join in with all of the exercises as we work our way through two-part, three-part and four-part harmony for the clarinet. I'll be demonstrating everything on the standard B flat clarinet and we'll be sticking to the key of F major for the B flat clarinet. We will be playing in the lowest register throughout but you will need to be able to play up to fourth space E for the B flat clarinet to get the full experience of four part harmony in the last exercise in the tutorial. Let's start. I've got a metronome here. I've got it set to 95 beats per minute. I'm going to give myself a two bar count in, a lead in, and the first thing we're going to do is just play an F major scale in the lowest octave on the clarinet, tonguing each note and playing each note in sync with the clicks of the metronome. So we will be playing these as crotchets or one beat notes. Let's have a go. Let me play it first and then I'll ask you to join in. So one, two, three, four, two, two. <laughs> Okay, so nothing hard there, just a straight F major scale, playing one note per beat, 95 beats per minute, tonguing every note. Now the first concept in harmony is the concept of unison. Unison in music means we have two or more players playing exactly the same note at exactly the same time. So grab your clarinet, wait for the two bar count in and then play the same notes that I'm playing, the F major scale and play them with me and you and I will have played then an F major scale in unison. Okay, one, two, three, four, two, two. Okay, how did you go? Did we end up playing perfectly in time together? If not, stop the video, rewind it back to the point of that first exercise and just keep playing it until you can play perfectly in time with me at 95 beats a minute. Now without focusing too heavily on the theoretical side of things, what we just played together is called the Ionian mode or the first degree of the F major scale. We're going to move on now to the third degree of the F major scale which simply means that we need to start the scale from the third note in the scale. So F, G, A, 1, 2, 3. A is the third note of an F major scale. And if we play what is called the Phrygian mode or the mode that starts on the third degree of the scale, those notes would be A, B flat, C, D, E, F, G and A. And that mode, if we combine that with our F major scale starting on the first degree of the scale, we will play in perfect major third harmony. And this is the most common two-part harmony that you will hear. Many of the singers around Christmas time and the choirs that sing Christmas carols really base a lot of their harmony on close harmony, third-part harmony. It's, for want of a better word, it's nice sounding, it's happy, it's really a, a pleasant sounding harmony. So to experience that, what you need to be able to do is play the Phrygian mode of an F major scale. I know that sounds technical, but it's as easy as anything. You simply start on A and walk your way up the same notes you played before, but up to the A. Let me play that for you now. I'm going to play the mode that starts on the third degree of the scale. Its technical name is the Phrygian mode. Here we go. OK, 
okay. So if you played those notes at the same time as someone played the notes we played at the start of this exercise, we will hear really pleasant major third harmony. And I've pre-recorded a track using my multi-track software, and I'll play it for you now, where you'll hear me play the F major scale starting on F coming out of your left-hand speaker, and the F major scale starting on A coming out of your right-hand speaker. And this is what is called two-part harmony. As with anything in music, the best way to experience the thrill of playing in harmony with someone is to play live with another player. So if you have a friend that also plays the clarinet, I strongly recommend getting together with them and just putting that exercise to the test in real life. You simply start on the first note of the scale, the F major scale, and your friend starts on the third note, the A. And then swap that around so you both get the experience of playing the first and third degrees of the scale. Right, let's move on to three-part harmony. A chord is defined as three or more notes played at the same time. So when we get to three-part harmony, for the first time as a clarinet player, we get to experience what it sounds like when a clarinet actually plays a chord, that is three or more notes played at the same time. This is a really exciting aspect of music if you haven't experienced this before. And what we need to do is add in another degree of the scale. This time we're going to start on the fifth note in the scale, C. F, G, A, B flat, C. C is the fifth note in an F major scale. And the mode of a scale that starts on the fifth note is called the Mixolydian mode. Again, don't be too concerned with the fancy words. Think of this as being an F major scale starting and ending on a C. So the notes will be C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, and then down in reverse order. Let me play the Mixolydian mode for you, an F major scale starting and ending on a C. <laughs> Again, nothing hard there. It's all pretty much standard technique on the clarinet in a, in a reasonably easy area to play. You do need to engage the register key for that note C. But as I said, check out my other videos on register key and fingering basics for clarinet if you're not quite sure as to what the fingerings for all of those notes are. Okay, to experience the three-part harmony, what we can do is if we can invite those two other players that just played for us before in the two note harmony, that was the double tracked version of myself where if you remember out of the left hand speaker I played the first degree of the scale, the one starting on F, out of the right hand speaker I played the third degree of the scale starting on an A. If we now play that track and you play live along with that track where I've got the two clarinets going, you will hear your third note creating chords, moving chords as you go up and down the scale. Because every time you play a note, so you'll start on the note C, but the clarinet player out of the left-hand speaker is playing an F. The clarinet player out of the right-hand speaker is playing an A. So their F and A, combined with your C, is a perfect F major chord. Now again, I've prepared a track where I've added in the third clarinet, and I'll play it for you now so you can hear what the end result should sound like if you play the Mixolydian mode along with the two clarinet players that, that we previously used. In this track, the third clarinet player, that's the one that you're trying to be, is dead centre in the speaker and the low F and the A above it remains in their respective left and right hand speakers. So you get an interesting 
trio of clarinets here as they play three-part harmony. So that you can get the experience of playing that third part harmony, I'm going to replay the track now where I played the first and second clarinet parts, but I, this time I'm going to include the metronome count in. So after the two bars count in on the metronome, I want you to play this time the Mixolydian mode, C, right up to C of an F scale, along with the other two clarinet sounds. You'll be the clarinet in the centre position, the low F will start on your left, the A above it will start on your right. So remember after the two bar count in, play the Mixolydian mode and get the feeling of you being the third harmony player. Okay, so hopefully you fitted in well with the other two players and were able to play your third part harmony along with the first and second clarinet players. For this tutorial, we're going to explore one further harmony, four part harmony. And this time we're going to shift up to the mode that starts on the seventh degree of the scale. So in an F major, Situation, we've got F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E. E is the seventh note of the scale. And the mode that starts on the seventh degree of a major scale is called the Locrian mode. Again, it's just a name. What you are doing is playing an F major scale starting and ending on an E. So you'll be playing E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D and E. Obviously, you need the register key on for C, D, and E, and it'll sound like this. Now, I've prepared a track where I'm playing the four clarinets, and this is now quite expansive, big, lush sounding chords. If you've never experienced this before in real life, playing with three other friends on clarinets, it's a wonderful experience. These are very um, interesting chords, and in another tutorial, we'll go back and explore every one of the seven chords that you've now learnt, both in the three-note chords and the four-note chords. But for the moment, just have a listen to what four-part harmony sounds like with four B-flat clarinets playing together. I hope you've enjoyed our tutorial on basic harmony and chords for the clarinet. Please keep your eye out for further tutorials where I'll go over all of the chord names and the notes in the chords that we played today in our three and four part harmonies. As always, keep in touch via my website, www.brianhays.biz, that's B-I-Z. Drop me an email, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and most of all, keep expanding your knowledge of basic harmony and chords as applied to the clarinet. To finish on, I'm going to replay the track where I played the three clarinets, but this time include the two bar metronome count in. That way you can experience being the fourth clarinet player, playing the fourth harmony, starting on the Locrian mode, the one that starts on the E on the seventh degree of the scale. Bye for now.